here we have rear number one beautiful steve hudson narrowboat tug style front deck as you can see a lovely francis searchlight gas locker in the very bow front doors top hatch recess panels down the side brass portholes side doors into the galley lovely top hatch in hardwood carry on down we have several prisms along the roof pigeon box above the engine and here so we have here a list of jp3 about 27 horsepower this engine originally was an auxiliary engine during world war ii for searchlights etc it was rebuilt when the boat was new and has been annually serviced it's a lovely little engine well, quite a big engine really Following on down, we still have more recessed panels as we continue down the boat. We have nice access for the weed hatch. And we continue around. And we have a lovely boatman's cabin. As we carry on inside rear, beautifully lined out. Tongue and groove top sides ceiling plywood towards the bottom of the boat we have a more so <coughs> scroll stove removable steps gives us also more access to storage below the tug deck more storage here with a radio cassette or sorry radio cd player area above i should imagine would be set up for a television etc Following across, we have a dinette. The dinette will form out to form a double bed. <coughs> One nice thing I do like on this boat, it's got some nice character radiators. You often see the uh, smaller ones and people like them covered up and put into cupboards, but they don't seem to do the work that they should do. Lots of storage. And additional storage under the dinette. Following across, <coughs> a nice large table. <coughs> Mounts within these feet holes. So you've got a nice table for, for uh, sitting in there. Carry on down to the galley. The galley we've got Corian worktops. And again, storage, Waco 12 volt fridge. more and more storage <coughs> both above and below storage to the side <coughs> and below the sink we have a Thetford Caprice cooker and a spin flow hob microwave above and even more shelving etc Following down, we've got some more of those lovely radiators as we come on through to the bathroom. Sweet little sink, Mansfield toilet, storage below, and above. What a lovely quadrant shower with pre-select a mixer tap. Additional storage to the side of the shower. So nice as you can see here, we have some porthole bungs. These are designs that, uh, when it's night time, you fill the holes. Hopefully you find the right one for the right hole, unlike my first try, as you can see, nice and uh, sealed off for the dark. Carrying on through into the engine room, <coughs> I can see the JP3 again. Lovely engine, beautifully looked after. 
the list the header tank small engine control panel on the far side there and we also have the uh, master vault control panel below the, the floor over here we can see where the master vault combi unit is this is an inverter charger so it will give you two and a half kilowatt mains power and if it's plugged into the mains it will also charge your batteries up to 100 amps so very good piece of equipment nice little sink in the engine room and a bit more storage storage is a thing that has been very well thought out within this boat as you can see this small cupboard gives us the DC stripping the AC tripping switch I should imagine for the immersion heater and our mains input lead is plugged in in the lower cupboard We have a PRM 260 gearbox, very nice gearbox, hydraulic, the uh, original listers would have been a Blackstone, which is a little bit temperamental nowadays because of the lack of parts for the PRM uh, grand gearbox. We now come into the boatman's cabin, within the boatman's cabin this is the area that uh, obviously when uh, this would have been a working boat the family would have been living. We have a Premier stove. Now the Premier stove is a stove in which you can cook as well. Firebox being on one side and an oven to the other side. By the look of this one, I don't think it's ever been lit. Carrying on across, we have the drop down table and more storage storage above the lower section here this drops down to come across cushions more cushions this side and this forms another bed so you have a double bed in the boatman's cabin. <clears throat> Additional storage below. Under the cushions. Following round. A nice period starlight. Uh, what was always known as the key drawer. That's where you would keep any keys or bits and pieces that the, were needed in your cruising around. Hand controls, so a wheel for the throttle and a pull me push your stick for the gear change. And we have then the switches also, the horn headlight build pump on the side there. Carrying on out to the back. We can see this is a lovely boat, 2013 Steve Hudson, 15 mil base plate, 6 mil hull sides, 5 cabin sides, 4 mil cabin tops, really well built, last forever. Thank you so much, this is now available here at Wilton. <laughs>